What's going on champs and champettes? It's Fire Monkey here and we just got some interesting information regarding Fortnite, including a brand new teaser for the of course Fortnite Fracture Live event, but also we finally got the crew pack for December officially decrypted and we got a little glimpse at what might be an upcoming pickaxe bundle cosmetic set or something along those lines in the future. So in today's YouTube video we'll be doing a little bit of a review while telling you the other bits of information. So to start us off let's go ahead and go to the battle pass page and then let's click on manage my Fortnite crew and once we click on the actual crew pack right Right here we can finally see the cosmetics in game now as you can tell there is a lot of stuff to go through when it comes to these cosmetics so I'm actually going to start off with you know like the loading screen and stuff because those are less on the important side so firstly we got the on a hunt loading screen by Afu Chan and as you can see right here you know we got a very interesting design you see the main crew pack character in the middle and then two concept survey skins over on the sides that will be coming to the game in the very near future nice little loading screen just to get from the crew and then we also have you know stuff like the hunters hold all back bling which is just a cool little back bling that you know has that little like vampire hunter school symbol on it whatever you want to call it it has a little like boba symbol over on here on the side but it also has two katanas that type of stuff and it's just a nice little back bling to have now of course i wanted to go through those two first and rapidly just because you know they're not the most important things here but what is important is this pickaxe so something interesting about the scarlet oath pickaxe is that this is reactive whenever you swing it it's actually going to get more and more red over time until it gets you know to this fully glowing red system right here as you can see which is kind of just like up there in the sky for some reason but if we preview styles you can see it a little bit better now something very interesting about this is if we go right here you have the option to be fully reactive no matter what even if you've never hit anything or you have the option to completely disable the reactivity and use the default sword which is a nice thing that I wish Epic Games would do to more of their pickaxes and stuff in the game that you know have these reactive effects I wish they would have let you actually select the reactive effect and enable it to the maximum or the minimum depending on how you like it because some things like this you know a red glowing sword is just super cool to have on its own you know sometimes it's nice to have that reactive style or whatever going on for it but sometimes you want either just fully red or you want fully the bland normal sword version no matter what so that is something nice to see epic games doing now, of course, we have one other cosmetic and part of the Fortnite crew pack, which is Joni the Red themselves. Now, you may notice that this says set underscore over 02 on the side. This is just because Epic Games didn't hotfix the string when I started recording this video. But the official set name for December 2022's Fortnite crew pack is Let's Hunt Vampires. So Joni the Red and all their cosmetics are part of the Let's Hunt Vampires set. Now, an interesting thing about Joni the Red is, firstly, as you can already see right here, we have a unique animation, right? We have a unique idle animation for the lobby that I think is pretty cool and adds a lot more character to this upcoming crew pack skin and as we know Joni the Red's going to be getting a new variant later down the line during December so on top of everything we're already seeing and on top of how unique this skin is you're going to be able to get even more with this character very soon and I assume since the name is Joni the Red maybe we'll get a new outfit you know maybe like a more red designed outfit or something like that you know it's really just something to speculate about but where it gets super interesting is the actual variants for this skin you can enable or disable the actual mask itself if you you want to have the mask off or on you can enable or disable the glasses as well so if you want to have the mask off the glasses off and all that type of stuff you have the option to do that and then the hairpins even that are up there you know you're able to disable or enable them so you have a lot of customization when it comes to the actual face of this character and you're able to really design it to make it look a specific way you want so that it just looks very cool and very unique to your current style of however you want Joni the Red to be. Overall though, I gotta be completely honest, after being able to see the skin in game and everything, I think that this is a really solid crew pack. I'm excited for December's crew pack, I could definitely see myself making like a preset rocking this skin quite often, and overall it's just, you know, a very cool clean design to see going on. Now of course we don't have music packs or anything, but I'm super excited for the skin itself and the sword, and of course the loading screen just because I think the loading screen looks a little nice. But we did notice something very interesting in the encrypted files for December's crew pack, and that was a brand new pickaxe set and codenamed Sharp Fang. Now, currently, we are unaware of what Sharp Fang's going to be, right? We only know that there's a pickaxe being worked on for that set, but it was something that we spotted in the files. And a lot of people were theorizing because whenever we find codenames like this in an encrypted file, it's usually stuff being reused for that current skin that's releasing ahead of time. So a lot of people are speculating that maybe what this Sharp Fang skin or pickaxe is going to be 
could be related to this character over here on the right, you know, that's the one a lot of people are speculating is going to be coming to the game very soon. They think that it could really match that Sharp Fang code name, and that that is what that Sharp Fang pickaxe is related to. But I just want to mention that right here, we have a mysterious code name related to this Fortnite crew pack that is not a part of the current Fortnite crew pack that could be hinting at an upcoming skin or, you know, set in general releasing in the next few updates with this launch of Chapter 4 Season 1 or with one of the updates in between Chapter 4 Season 1 and all the future seasons. So today's question comment of the day, I want to know down below, what do you think the Sharp Fang skin could potentially be? Do you think it's going to be this skin right here on the right side? Could it potentially be the skin on the left or could it be something completely unrelated to anything here? It's really something we just got to wait and see what happens with, but it's something that I am overall excited to see. And now as a final little note for today's YouTube video, we haven't really been able to play the match or anything because, you know, we just kind of reviewed stuff in the locker, but I did want to mention that I am going to be ending off this video by kind of showcasing, you know, a little video teaser. And in fact, I'm just going to let the video teaser play on screen right now. This was the brand new video teaser for the Fortnite Fracture Live event, and we got some very interesting stuff happening with this one. A lot of people are speculating over the sound they're hearing, because we've started seeing more and more crazy oddities happening with the Fortnite Island, right? And especially with these teasers in general. Originally, it started with just characters looking off in the distance in one way, and then it evolved over time into more of like this character teleporting to a different area, and now this time around we hear what seems to be like a chrome cube sound effect, only for Guff to look outside and see, yeah, every one's basically gone, right? So it's like, what's going on here? Is this like the Chrome malfunctioning or something? We really don't know. Is the loop messing up or something because of the Chrome or the, because of the bad guys? It's really just a very vague unknown area where a lot of people are speculating on. So I thought I'd just show it to you guys because these are guaranteed to be video teasers and everything for the Fractured Live event, even if they aren't showing any specific things going down. So just something to help you get hyped up for the live event. And I'm honestly excited to enjoy it with you guys. So if you enjoy today's YouTube video, consider dropping a like or a comment, you know, do whatever you want to do. If you don't want to drop a like or a comment, feel free to dislike the video as well. And I am out. See you champs and champettes tomorrow with another YouTube video. Peace.